Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number 440 in a US 4. This is a dome stop and a satin brass finish. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so this is a classic, typical dome stop. You can see why they call it a dome stop. This is the 440, and that means that it is the shorter lip style profile. Not meant really for any other installation other than to be used compatibly with a particular undercut that you'd have, which would be, um, you know, just a typical undercut, you know, half inch, 5.8, something in that range. And the US 4, or the 606, I should say, means three things. It means it's made of solid brass, that it has a satin brass finish, and then a clear lacquer applied to it bumper inserted there. Includes a uh, fastener package, so you're going to get a screw and then a plastic anchor. You'll drill two holes. One will be for this post that's down here. The other will be for the anchor. Okay, And that post just keeps that from spinning, or one of the two keeps it from rotating in the hole. Okay, Let's take some dimensional properties of the item. <clears throat> Diameter. Looks like it's about an inch and three quarter. It's overall height, and I'll just hold it upside down a little easier, about an inch and a sixteenth. The thickness of the lip looks like it's about three sixteenths of an inch. Right on. So at one inch overall length, you can see that, you know, a, five, a half inch, five eighths undercut are going to be uh, okay, three eighths undercut. You get anything beyond, you know, that sort of maximum range of uh, five-eighths, I would say, you should probably start going with a larger dome stop because you want as much contact uh, of the door making contact with the rubber bumper is the bottom line. So I would say if you exceed half inch, uh, you might start to consider the taller unit, which we'll go over in a moment. Now let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Here is the item that we are looking at. First of all, let's talk about the different finishes available in this. And we'll just do a search for Rockwood 440. And we will find the oil rubbed bronze equivalent. That's a powder coated dark bronze. 605 for polished brass. 606 for satin brass. 612 for satin bronze. 613 for oil rubbed bronze. 619 satin nickel, 625 polished chrome, 626 satin chrome, BSP, black suede powder coat. Okay. Um, then you have a couple of variations. Uh, different screw packages are here. You can order these with a security screw. So back to the item. The extended description listed down below this video goes over the fact that it's the low style made of brass and a satin clear coat. The dimensional properties what they call a Duraflex bumper. That's just Rockwood's trade name for the rubber insert that's here. Comes with a number 12 by inch and a quarter. Interestingly enough, the same screw that you would use in a hinge. Uh, plastic anchor for use, use for doors, used for doors without thresholds or not undercut. Um, that would mean that without a threshold or not undercut is going to require, would require a very short lip here on the base. Product, uh, let's take a look here now. Product uh, brochure is here where we can take a look at the uh, 440. Its sister product, the 441, is different only in that it will include a machine screw and a lead anchor. Okay, so a different type of anchoring you're going to be involved there. Um, in the sense that you're adding a machine screw, you're going to get a number 12. Um, threaded to the head flathead wood screw, but if you needed a machine anchor, you'll order the 441. You can order a riser only for these models. That will give you an additional 3 8 They say that it's a quarter inch on the base. This is a universal style, meaning that it still has the short lip but a much taller height. So if you're not sure what you are going to encounter in terms of undercut, maybe go with this one. Here is the uh, taller version of the 440. This would be the 442, where it's half inch high. Heavy duty styles, more modern type here as well. So some options there in terms of floor stops. 
Now, speaking of options and floor stops, there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page where when you click on it, it will allow you to review not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's, um, let's see here now, the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog, as seen here. Um, and the full product catalog will be their core product line, you know, their trim and auxiliary hardware is what it will be. And if you were to do a, to do a find function for 440, you're going to get to that catalog, uh, sec that section of the catalog, and you'll be able to see all things stop related. If you're not sure what you need, or if you're considering or open to other solutions or need additional hardware, this would be a great way to dive into what Rockwood offers. But also, there is a link to the architectural door pull catalog, which is about 100 pages worth of every imaginable variation of door pull and push bar, whether it be wood, architectural metals, leather, rubber, it's all available here. So you might want to dive in and take a look at that if you're looking for door pulls. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, very nice quality looking item, very clean fit and finish, a good faithful satin brass type color, rich in its color. Um, there's variation on finishes from everyone, especially your uh, satin brass I see variation on. Uh, sometimes it seems a bit redder, uh, sometimes it's less deep and rich. This is pretty deep and rich. Sometimes I've seen it too light, um, and it's chemistry uh, what's happening there. Every manufacturer is, is, is doing a lot of hard work to get the plating done. There is a formula, but many things um, affect that, such as not following the formula. Uh, and sometimes the finishes just aren't as faithful, and I've seen it. Your brasses and your bronze um, can tend to be you know, some variation there. Um, anyway, I'm just saying that I like the satin brass from Rockwood because it's particular and it's rich and it's deep, um, and I think is um, a pretty um, unique finish. Uh, good quality, tremendous quality fit and finish is a hallmark of Rockwood. I've uh, sold bushel loads of their material and uh, reviewed and personally have seen lots of their different hardware examples in every conceivable finish. And you will see a very regular and routine um, level of um, d dependable, reliable outputs from them. They are a quite comprehensive manufacturer of German auxiliary hardware. In fact, they are also quite accommodating when it comes to special requests. If they have the machinery, um, they have the will to make it. They have the desire uh, and the moxie, I suppose, to be able to help you with a custom something or other. A plate that needs to be a certain size and with different holes. Uh, I use uh, Rockwood exclusively for those sorts of operations. Any questions on the 440 and a US-4 or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.